What's up, bro? What are you doing? I am counting rice kernels. Please leave me alone. My new diet says to eat 420 exactly. Now go away. <laughs> Does it have to be that strict, though? I mean, don't you think you should find something more sustainable? So you can do it for longer? So you can think through longer. I don't do things longer. Ask your girlfriend. All right, man. But maybe if you bought Greg's freaking cookbook, you moron, you wouldn't count. have to be I lost so. Count. Oh. All right, guys. As you can see, I'm in front of the famous bed where I film my duets every morning right here. Before we dive into the video, I want to just give you guys a brief explanation before I tell you what the skill is. Before we do that, let me get this beta piece of clothing off me. Oh, thank God. And now we have plus 15 dexterity and plus 10 charisma. And I'm representing my favorite ice cream place from when I was a fat boy. Here we have Joe Schmo and John Doe, okay? Joe Schmo and John Doe are both overweight and unhappy, right? So what are they gonna do? They're gonna go on diets, but Joe Schmo is gonna use the most important skill I'm gonna talk about. And John Doe Googled the most restrictive diet he could find, and it's very extreme and he's gonna follow that. Now we're gonna fast forward a few months. In the drum roll, please. Ta-da! They're both jacked now. They're both looking good, they're lean, they're shredded, they're on lean, mean, green, bean, fighting machine. You know, they're enjoying their life now, they're enjoying the fruits of their labor. But fast forward a few more months and what is happening, right? Joe Schmo is still jacked and happy. Look at this guy. He is enjoying life. John Doe, why are you crying? What? What's wrong with the scale? Wipe your tears, brother. John Doe is in tears. Why? Did you gain the weight back? What happened then? I'm going to explain why many people who follow restrictive diets usually gain the weight back and why the most important skill for fat loss is going to lead you to lifelong results. So what is the most important skill for fat loss, right? You probably guessed it by now. It is counting calories now before you click off the video please i encourage you to just hear me out and watch till the end of the video because for some reason a lot of people don't want to learn this skill but it's actually very useful and can be applied to so many different aspects of life the way i like to think of it is it's basically financial budgeting for your body okay you have a budget aka a calorie intake limit that you cannot exceed right if you exceed it then your body will probably store fat and it's like going into debt if you overdraw your balance from your bank. Imagine you have a $2,000 budget for the day. You're not going to be blowing money here and there and making $1,000 purchases. You're going to want to only spend rationally, correct? And it's the same concept with counting calories. Because if you're eating, let's say, 2,000, 2,500 calories in a day, obviously, you don't want to eat, you know, majority of them from high calorie dense foods like fast food and stuff like that. You want to be smarter about it so you can, one, still eat delicious foods and two still hit your calorie intake goal and not go over it and so you get the best of both worlds and the reason this is good is because you don't have to follow an extremely restrictive diet and completely eliminate foods and stuff like that like you get the freedom and the leverage of including delicious things or you know just putting a twist on healthy foods to making them taste better while also allowing them to be calorie and macro friendly that's why calorie counting is the most useful skill because you're giving yourself the freedom to eat what you want by still remaining within the calorie budget. But right now, I'm going to give you guys a brief explanation on how to find how many calories you should eat, like your maintenance intake, and also how to use the MyFitnessPal app to track them and just get acquainted with the interface and stuff like that and show you that it's not as difficult as people make it out to be. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing you can do is go on Safari, go on uh, Google and type in TDEE calculator. Basically, that means total daily energy expenditure calculator. That's basically a tool that has an algorithm that based on your height, weight, activity levels and exercise levels, stuff like that, they will give you a very uh, like a moderately accurate estimation of how many calories you should eat to stay at the same weight. So we found this one right here. here uh, it's probably the most popular TDEE calculator dot net. We're going to click this. Learn how many calories you burn every day. Yes. So age, um, let's just say 18. And let's say you're a male weight uh let's say you're a 200 pound 18 year old male height um so hold on 
Oh, wow. Right, let's say you're 5'6 and you 200 pounds. Okay, activity level. Are you sedentary? Do you sit most of the day? You have an office job, light exercise. Let's just, let's say in the, let's say you're doing light exercise. It's probably majority of people, like maybe once or twice a week, they walk their dog or they go out. Um, they don't have a completely sedentary job. They're kind of on their feet. Like, you know, I wouldn't say moderate. Let's just use light for this example. And we're going to click calculate. Sick. All right, you're an 18 year old male, blah, blah, blah. Now, your maintenance calories, 2,571 calories per day, or let's say 18,000 per week. Now, what do you do? You have 2,571 calories. My advice is if you want to see if this is really your maintenance, set this as your calorie intake goal on MyFitnessPal and try to eat it for a week and just watch your weight every day and see if it's going down or up. Take the weekly average. And if the net weight was a loss, then it's probably under your maintenance. And if it's over, it's probably a little bit more. Also, what you can do if you can't access a tool like this for whatever reason. A very simple, obviously not as accurate way to find your maintenance is take your current body weight and multiply it by 15. Body weight in pounds, not kilograms, body weight in pounds times 15. So if you were to do that with 200, let's see what it comes out to. 3000, okay, so that is more than what they said. Um, so I mean, let's round this up to 2600, 2600 to 3000. Uh, depending on your activity levels, that's a good place to start. I would start, personally, I would just start at 3,000, right? We're not even into the dieting phase yet. Start at three, track it, see if your weight goes up. Okay, drop it down a little. But we're going to go on the MyFitnessPal app right now, and we're going to set 3,000 calories as our goal. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Okay, so you're on the app. What you want to do is click the little three uh, buttons that say more on the bottom right. Scroll down and click goals. Now you have goals, and then... You want to click car calorie carb protein and fat goal click that now here's where you're going to set your calories let's say 3000 3000 calories now the rest of the numbers how do you know what you want to do right so protein is the most important in my opinion protein should be one gram per pound of body weight so we said we weigh 200 so we're going to make protein say like right around 200 right so let's drop it down 150 188 225 let's just say 188 right now we're going to fill the rest with the uh, carbs and fats we'll do we'll do 375 carbs 83 grams of fat this is pretty balanced pretty regular um for this calorie intake so this is how you set your calories now what's really cool about this app is once you have that set it's really easy to track your food for example if you want to add like this is what i've eaten today right eight ounces of breast the cauliflower some egg white stuff like these are my normal meals you can even add exercise. I don't use that, but let's say you want to add food. So let's go to tomorrow. Here's what you do. You click add food and you can search. There's so many different foods in here that people have entered previously because when somebody enters it, it goes into the database. Even go on eat Chipotle. Look at this. This is so cool. They have the entire Chipotle menu on the app. Chipotle Mexican Grill. They have that. I think they also have McDonald's. And even though it's not completely accurate, yeah, McDonald's menu, bro. If you go out and get a McChicken, it's on here. You can search the freaking menu. Look at this. Oh my God, bro. McChicken 360. This is amazing. Isn't that sick? Even if you're eating out, you know, there's ways around it. It's always better to track, even if it's slightly inaccurate, than not tracking. Because if you're not tracking, you have no idea what you're intaking. And, you know, your calories could one day be 1,500 and the next day 5,000. And that's just high and low, high and low is... It's better to understand the numbers that are going in your body because numbers don't lie. What you can also do is if you have um, a packaged food with a barcode on it, you can scan it. It's really simple. You click add food and you click the barcode right there on the top, right? Yeah. So it'll, and this will, it'll open up and it'll show like this. All you have to do is put the barcode right here and you'll be able to scan, not your calluses, but you'll be able to scan the barcode and it'll automatically input it. Um, I did show like screenshots in this in my ebook, The Ultimate Guide to Fat Loss, if you want to check that out. You know, several screenshots of how to use the interface of my fitness panel, kind of what I'm doing right now. But yeah, it's really simple. You scan the barcode, it'll input the calories, carbs, fats, and protein, sodium, all kinds of stuff like that automatically, and you just click the check. Now, the way I use this is I have a food scale, so I weigh out my food, like chicken breast, right? So let's say I, I want to get some protein and I have a chicken breast and I weigh it, right? And I weigh my breasts raw. So it's usually eight ounces, boom. So when I put the breast on the scale and I set it to ounces, it's an eight ounce breast. It says right here, chicken breast raw, eight ounces based on the package that I bought it in. There you go, 52 protein, 2.3 fat. Like 
you know it doesn't have to be extremely specific like you shouldn't get to a point where you're weighing out lettuce or like counting rice kernels and stuff like that like it doesn't have to be that extreme but you should be aware of what your body is consuming on a daily basis it is the best tool in my opinion ever to learn how to lose fat so i do encourage you to look into it download the my fitness pal app definitely get a food scale if you want to take it to the next level it's very helpful it doesn't need to be as extreme as people make it and matter of fact it is one of the most useful skills i have learned in life in general because you should definitely be aware of what you're putting in your body and the amounts. And the reason it's so important is because when you know how many calories you're consuming and you're accurate, accurately tracking it, you can willingly manipulate your body weight if you want to increase or decrease. Like this is how people bulk and cut weight, you know, slowly and consistently is because they set a small calorie surplus or they reduce their calories by a small amount, which allows their body to either a put on weight or lose weight on command. Like it's not an accident. They're doing it on purpose. That's why it is the most important tool for fat loss, because then when fat loss plateaus, you can just go back to the numbers. You can just check it out and say, huh, why am I not losing weight? My calories are at this. I'm tracking them evenly. Okay. Now we can readjust. That's why it's so important because you're literally purposely manipulating your body weight. And for me, this is how I've lost all my weight for almost the past year. This is what really helped me on my transformation. You know, when my calories got too low, I was able to bring them up to maintenance, add five, six, 700 calories, sit there for a little and cruise and then drop them back down because I'm aware of what I'm eating. I'm weighing my food. I know how to track the calories. Trust me guys, when I say this, it's from someone who has lost weight doing this method, I will tell you it's 100% worth it. It is literally on autopilot for me now. And uh, it's gonna be difficult in the first few weeks, but that's with anything in life. When you're starting out and learning, you know, things are gonna be kind of hard to get accustomed to. You start a new job for a few weeks, you're the annoying guy there. You're slowing everyone down. They're like, oh, they hired a genius, bro. Like, and that's just how it is until eventually you're moving so fast. You have everyone on roller skates riding around you and they're like, bro, can we give this dude a promotion? He's insane. So just like with anything in life, when you start out a new skill, something you don't know how to do, you're not gonna be good at it right off the bat. So the sooner you understand that, the easier this process will be for you. You're gonna get the hang of it. And eventually you're gonna be like, wow, I'm so happy I learned how to do this. This really is not that hard and it is very useful. So I'll leave you guys with that and send me a DM on Instagram if you have any questions. I check my DMs daily and let's create the best version of ourselves to give to the world and have a good day. <laughs>